Hello, hello, and welcome back for part 36 of the Growing Together with the O'Briens Let's Play. I'm Amber, and in today's episode, we are going to start by going over all of the absolute insanity that I just found out is happening in this save. <laughs> in part 33, we learned that one of our best friends, Chit, who also happens to be the grandmother of our son's daughter, <laughs> right? Um, was pregnant with twins. And then we saw that the partner was Wolfgang Munch. When I loaded into my game and was going to go and give a makeover to my son's daughter, I learned that the Lunas had moved. So Chit and Carmine and uh, Baby Lay were gone. They were no longer in San Sequoia and I had no idea what happened to them. I honestly thought my game was just glitching and being crazy because like, well, welcome to The Sims 4. But I actually found out through MC Command Center that they had moved to Windenburg. So then I was like, oh, okay, that's really cute. I guess she moved in with Wolfgang, you know, her baby daddy. No, no, y'all, no. Chit is now married to Gunther Munch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she decided to marry her baby daddy's brother. Oh my God. And move her, her two twins that she just had and her daughter and granddaughter in with him. Okay. Just take a look. Wow. <clears throat> I think the funniest part of all of this is the fact that she never even really had a relationship with Wolfgang, but as you can see, like her and Gunther have like a really high relationship but they don't have the best compatibility so I don't know why the game did that like if you wanted to marry her off why wouldn't you marry her off to the father of her kids like why why is Chit living with her baby daddy's brother and he's there raising his nieces and two kids that have no relation to him whatsoever like I just don't understand the logic of how this happened. So then I came back to Oasis Springs and was going to check and see how things were with Zoe Patel and Cody. And y'all, the craziness that must have happened once we got back from the neighborhood potluck. Um, Yeah, here, I'll just show you. Yeah, so apparently um, Cody was a raging psycho, which we, we technically saw that when we were at the neighborhood potluck, you know, but he continued when he got home apparently and he killed Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mitchell is no longer here. He is gone bye-bye. And apparently he did it in front of his son. So now the son is living with Zoe Patel and Jay Huntington and their three kids, but they also don't have the best relationship with each other. So like, I don't know what's going on in the game right now, aside from absolute chaos and insanity, but we just gonna, we gonna let it all ride for now. <laughs> With that being said, I don't have any particular plans for today. I think I might actually allow Sky to quit her job so we can focus on her catering business because let's be for real, she doesn't really make much money when she does go to work anyway. So what's the point? 16 simoleons an hour? Like girl, no. She might as well just stay on here at the house and fulfill orders. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna have her do. 
Um, and <clears throat> we'll have Dutch go to work. Hopefully he doesn't get burned out again. He needs to fill out reports before he goes to work. Well, he won't be getting a promotion at all. Okay. Well, there's that. What is he feeling? Oh, yeah, they really hate how dirty the house is. A maid should be coming today because it's Monday morning. So that's a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and press play and we'll just see whatever they happen to get into. Uh, it looks like Kellen's a little hungry. So we'll let him grab a bite of leftovers. Jace is also looking hungry. How do we just leave a potluck and everybody's hungry? It's crazy to me. Like, I don't understand how that works. How is the baby doing? His knees are definitely a little bit better, thank goodness for that, because he definitely wasn't doing very good. Oh, I guess he can't get that, okay. There we go. Perfect, and then who did we miss? Mariah, she's also hungry, so we'll let her come and grab some. Oh my gosh, are they fighting out there in the front yard? Who is she fighting? Okay. I don't know what's happening. Girls, please just get in the house because there's some craziness going on out there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and have her quit her job. I thought about also maybe allowing her to start documenting her journey because Sky has been through so much and I feel like he's got the close knit lifestyle. Okay, sure Dutch, yes. Um. Dang, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, she's gone through so much. I think it would be kind of nice for her to... A wind chime? Where? I think it'd be kind of nice for her to actually, um, you know, like tell, oh, tell the story of like where she started from and where she is now. This is actually really cute because as we all know, her and Kellen have never had like a really good relationship with each other. So this is really heartwarming actually to see him come over here and hug on his mom. Maybe him becoming a dad is actually the best thing that could have happened to him because truth be told, I feel like he gets the most improved award because he's actually been really, really good lately and really hasn't given us any issues or nothing. Why is Sarai in here cooking? Like I didn't tell her to get leftovers. Mama, why are you making rainbow brownies? <sighs> Sarai, please. Put please. Did somebody just walk in my house? What in the world? I have no idea what's going on. Um, Dutch, are you ready for work? Oh my gosh, of course you need freaking sleep. Please be so for real. Where is the maid? We need the maid like ASAP. We need the maid like yesterday's business, okay? So I still haven't figured out exactly what meals are the ones that um can be used with the catering thing. So I'm just gonna... We're just gonna mess around with a bunch of different options. So let's see. Oh my gosh, 360? If I pay that and I can't sell it, I'm gonna be really upset. 240? That's cute. We're gonna try it. Hopefully, hopefully we can sell it. They've got school here in a little bit. Get this little shit out of my house. Honestly, like this kid hasn't aged up yet. Like, why is he still running around? I am so tired of that little child. Can he please age on up into a teen so he can disappear and go somewhere? Goodness gracious, what is she doing? Clean up? Oh, okay. All right, are you guys all ready for school? Kinda, their energy's all pretty low. So that's unfortunate, but not really much I can do about that. We really need to get on the grind and figure out how to make some money so we can move into a bigger house. Though the quads are gonna be aging up, what, next week, right? Yeah, they age up next week. So Dutch ages up this Saturday and the quads all age up next week. So there's that. I think the way that we're gonna do it when they age up into young adults is like a rotational gameplay style. So, because I don't know that I see all of them wanting to go to uni. 
Um, and I think it would be really hard trying to play with all four of them at once. I mean, we have been playing with what, two, four, seven people <laughs> right now. Um, so it might not be so bad. And maybe we could let all of them go to uni for like a semester and just see how it works out. And then if we don't like it, maybe, you know, do a rotational gameplay thing. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't fully decided yet. We still have a while before we get to that point. Come wash your face, baby. Oh, send all of them alone. Yes, we are gonna allow them to take some swimming lessons too, because I want to be able to go to some of these cute swimming pool lots that I put down, but with them not being able to swim, I'm not trying to have anybody die. So, there's that. We'll have Cameron go potty. The quads are all off to school. What? Oh, that's Elsa. Girl, you better go to school. Sky, what are you doing, baby? Cook. What is she doing? Is she, okay, I was about to say. Oh my goodness, why is his energy going up so slow? Look at little Cameron, he's so cute. Beat bopping along. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna go potty. Who was that talking? What in the world? I guess that was Dutch in his sleep, maybe? Why did she put it in the fridge? Oh my God, Sky, please. Please. I don't want you to put it in the fridge. Have I, had I want you to put it in the fridge, you wouldn't have. Oh, okay, I guess it can't go on the counter. Why? whatever can we fulfill it Ooh, that's what i'm talking about yes ma'am sorry that i put your cake on the floor but here you go yes that'd be 900 that's what i'm saying like she definitely the difference of that was what almost like 700 dollars. she definitely wouldn't have done that if she had gone to work so yay for that let's make something else mamas bring on the money She's like, so many people want me to cook some food for them after that neighborhood potluck. Like, girl, I know. She's just gonna be a cooking little bean today. That was this one. Let's see about the gothic one. She must be making that for somebody's like birthday party or wedding or something. Okay, um, Dutch, I need you up and off to work, please. Okay, now all of a sudden he doesn't go to work. All right. I don't know what's happening, but I guess, yay, he gets to work on his charisma. Oh my God, not another fine. Oh, can we do something about these neighborhood? Oh, he is going to work. All right, never mind. <laughs> Where is the maid? Petition for repeal? Make loan payment? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh no. How much is the loan payment? I mean, they haven't bothered us about it yet, so <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. Who's calling? Sarai tried to skip out on a class today to comfort a crying friend. What should we tell her? Mm. Oh, I'm torn on this. Cause education is vital and you shouldn't skip class, but helping your friends is important. We're gonna tell her helping friends comes first. It's fine. She fell out of range to earn the responsible trade. Oh, okay, who cares? It's fine. Oh, what's wrong? Why is he crying? Why is he sad? Left behind? Oh my God, Cameron, she's right here in the freaking kitchen. Just, just come right here. No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Let me exit out of it. Come on, cake. Okay, are you happy now, buddy? Oh my God. Uh-oh. Wait, going over some routine expense reports, Dutch notices some lines that don't seem to match up. Upon further investigation, he discovers that a lot of money is being funneled into some secretive executive accounts. Dutch doesn't have much standing at the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing he should take to the authorities, right? Um, oh my God, if I click this one, I don't really care about his fame and reputation. I'm not gonna lie. I do care about the fact that he would lose his job because this would be the second job that he has lost since we've been together. So I think we're gonna just say to lose the papers. 
And then this is for the quads and scholarship options, which as poor as they are, that's definitely a thing. That cake is so huge. Like what? That's definitely one to have at like a gothic wedding or something. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're gonna have to see how much that costs. Look at, it's so tall. It's almost taller than her. Is it supposed to be that big? Oh my gosh. 1200 simoleons shush yeah let's go sky is it a cheat code if i just keep making that same one over and over again <laughs> oh here we're gonna sell that too real quick and sell this too if i can <laughs> okay i can't do that one okay <laughs> that'd be 15 simoleons look at us we 6700 have we been that high yet <laughs> Because I, I feel like this is as rich as poor Sky has ever been. She just can't seem to catch a break. Let's bake another cake. This time, yeah, we paid 300 and made 12. So that was like a $900 profit. That's really good. Let's do this one. Oh my goodness. Cameron. He is having the time of his life right now sing a song why are you so sad she's right there buddy <laughs> okay are these dirty too they are oh oh yay the maid is here thank goodness buddy why don't you go outside and play yeah play stack oh, i can't put that down somewhere okay did I just hear somebody? I thought I heard a dude somewhere. My game be doing such random stuff, bro. I, I be always trying to look out because you just never know. Like in the last episode when a freaking robber just randomly showed up. Like, what do you mean? He is so cute. Oh, little Cameron. Oh, are you done with your cake? Let's go. Okay, we'll let her, she's going to potty, so we'll let her go do that, and then we'll sell this, and we'll let her talk to Chit and Penny, and then play some with, um, with Cameron to get her social up. How much is this one? 520, okay. Perfect. Bro, who is talking? It's so weird. Okay, let's chat with Penny. And then let's chat with Chit since she had her babies. We're due for a vacation. Uh, maybe in the next episode, we'll go on a little girl's trip as like a little like bachelorette party. Now that Sky's making some money and stuff, she's feeling a little bit better and more optimistic about things. So I think we should let her and the girls maybe go and, you know, have some fun out on the town and stuff. Why is the maid just standing there? Like, can you please do something with your freaking life? Because what's the point of having a maid if I'm still having to do everything? I don't get it. We have a whole sink and, oh my God, dishwasher as well. And she'd rather just stand there, make it make sense. Can you at least like start the laundry or something? Okay, Cameron's out there walking, getting jiggy. I even put a freaking trash can outside. She's still not doing nothing like, girl. Please. Oh, did she not? She's done talking already? That was fast. You talked to Kyle too. I can't believe their relationship is still so high. Penny is already nearby. Where? Oh, hey, girl. Hey, Penny. Come on in. You can talk to them later. Penny's here.
Oh, he's sitting down eating? <laughs> She's like, hi, Pin! I can't believe she actually is getting like streaks of gray hair. That's so cool. Hey, Penny! What you up to, girl? Hopefully not trying to plot on stealing my man, you know, because that would be real screwed up. I'm just saying. <laughs> I already know what's up, Penny. Don't play around. Compliment her outfit. Oh, yeah, no. I'm locking this. I keep forgetting about that feature, actually. But I hate when they come over and use my stuff. And then it gets broken. Oh, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me, too. Girl, be careful what sentiments you get for her, okay? Because I don't know about Penny. I don't know. Just watch your back, girl. Watch your back. Make joke about marriage? Why does she have to get up for that? I'm talking about babies. Why are they talking about babies? Announce your engagement. Maybe she'll back off for your husband. Fiance. Okay. Why she... Bro, her bottom lip was definitely frowning just now. Oh, Sky can't wait to tell everyone about her engagement. It's her favorite topic of conversation because she just can't keep it inside anymore. Now on to the wedding planning. We do, we do definitely need to go about planning things. So I definitely think the next couple episodes are going to focus on um, Sky hanging with the girls, doing her bachelorette party thing, and then Dutch hanging with the guys, doing his bachelor party thing, and then coming together for um, like an engagement party. And then the wedding. If there's gonna be one, cause I don't know the way the Dutch and Penny be carrying on, it might not be one. <laughs> growing so fast, oh, He is growing so fast, girl. Uh. He needs some attention though, so why don't you go play with him for a little bit? Penny will be okay. Uh. He's a little singer, Oh, uh. He's so cute. You. How cute. Oh, she's actually taking out the trash this time. Let's go. What is Penny going on about? Mm-hmm. How cute. Cheerleading for Sarai starts at about an hour football. Sentiments for Sky and the baby. So I know for a fact that even when they go to uni, um, I want for Kellen to pursue like the NFL for sure. And I want Sarai to look into doing fashion design. Mariah and Jace, I don't really know what I want them to do. I think I want Jace to do robotics. And I was gonna let Mariah do like ballet or like dancing, but I'm working on a machinima that's going to focus on that. So I think I'd rather just wait on that. Um, school projects, okay. Her responsible thingy went back up again. They're all so exhausted. Okay, so I got them some moodlet solvers and I think that that would be helpful right now. So, yeah, instead of doing that, just drink the one that solves all of them. Same for you, Kellen. Everybody just drink a moodlet solver. So y'all just got here from school and everybody is on one. Oh my gosh, why is Sarai crying? Um, so yeah, for Mariah, I don't... What? <gasps> when the hell was she smoking? Oh, please be so for real. Mariah. Mariah. Look at her eyes. Is that why Sarai's coughing too? Because her eyes are red too. Please be so for real. That is insane. What is this? I'm not okay. She's having a mood swing. She is also stoned. Okay. Well, all right. The boys too? No. Okay. Why? <laughs> not my girls getting high on this freaking. Oh my God. All right. 
Oh, Cameron went on to bed after I gave him some attention. Perfect. Now he's good, ready to go to practice and stuff. Which is perfect. He's going. Sarai, are you going? Yes, good. Awesome. You don't need to sleep now, girl. Okay, what is an after school thing that we can have Mariah join? I don't know what I see her doing. So let's, high school, let's see about this. What's this? Okay, thank you, Miss Maid, for being done. Oh, he's sleeping here on the chair. Oh no, bub, go sleep in bed. I definitely want Jace to do robotics. I feel like that should just, that's it for him. Okay, yeah, I don't see her doing cheer team. Actually, maybe what we should have done was have a Sarai be a fashion club member. Because I like the whole cheerleading thing, but maybe she should have been doing this. Especially because I want her to do the whole fashion thing when they go off to school. Hmm. We'll let Mariah do swimming. We haven't done that yet. What broke? I definitely heard something break. I don't know what. Was it the computer? I hope not. I don't think it was. I'm not sure what it was. Um, They all got the school project thing, so... Start working on that. Mariah, same for you. Work on yours. Okay, what is this? Cannabis induced creativity? Oh, please. All right, Sky, how are you feeling? You are tired. Okay, I guess. Yeah, you don't really have enough points, so I will let you just go ahead and go to sleep. Not Penny over here doing my laundry. Maybe she should be the maid instead. What did I say, is she asleep or no? Okay, she is. Good. Okay, cool, the kids are out there doing that. Penny's literally just standing in the laundry room, which is fine. Is Dutch still not double work? Is Penny gonna go help? Okay. 176, is it? Oh, Dutch. A teammate is out from an injury, so Sarai is asked to take their place for practice. Sarai just has to stay still and get thrown a few feet in the air. Don't worry, they hardly ever drop anyone. How did they say the teammate was hurt again? Yeah, let's fly, she's got this. Yay! Sarai does pretty well during practice, but having to switch last minute to a new position is not really enough time to prepare for such action. While being tossed by the fellow teammates, Sarai was caught successfully, but then jumped down too soon, leaving her with a minor injury. Oh, goodness, girl. Are you okay? Battered and bruised from cheerleading. Ouch, so I got hurt badly recently and are feeling a bit sorry for themselves. And she's in a crowded place, okay. So maybe cheer is not really for her anymore, especially after she got hurt today at cheer. I think this is like the second time she got hurt at cheer, isn't it? I should really get going now? Yeah, now that Dutch is here, that's a good idea. Oh my goodness, just before starting practice for the day, the team notices that a rival club member has messed with your gear. This will really set back practice for the day while the team cleans up the mess and makes arrangements for replacements. Kellen feels upset about the audacity of the other team to do something like this. He can get payback by doing the same to them or try to talk things through with the rival team in an attempt to make things better. Get revenge. Together the team felt united getting revenge, but Kellen can't help but feel like maybe revenge was not the right way. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, cool, Jace got the rocket science skill, okay. Sarai got promoted to cheerleading teammate, okay. Kellen's back from football. Who is he talking to? Get kidnapped? Oh no. What do you mean? Like, hello? Oh my. Okay. Uh. Why is Dutch standing outside waiting to get kidnapped instead of going in the house? Mariah's got programming level three now. Actually, maybe she should be like a tech guru or something because she's really... Oh my gosh. Please. 
she's really doing good with um like tech stuff is he good or what bro all right all right not him getting kidnapped by a little blonde lady that is the worst part for me he is literally getting kidnapped by somebody who looks like freaking elsa like fight back dutch already like i i don't think we can do this y'all first we were getting beat up by our ex-husband at the freaking neighborhood potluck and he couldn't do anything about it now he just got home from work and is getting kidnapped like and he's not even on the thing anymore so how do i to let you know that your close friend Dutch has passed away. I'm sorry for your loss. What? I didn't even have a chance to go and... I didn't even have a chance to go and <laughs> rescue him. Like... That was not in my bingo cards at all. Are you serious? Why did that happen? From losing a good friend, Sky, he wasn't a good friend. He was literally your freaking fiance. Why is this girl's booty all up in the screen? Like what is... And their life continues like, you know, their stepdad didn't just get kidnapped and murdered, apparently. All right. She now, okay. Yeah, they just got kidnapped, girl. Got kidnapped from the household. Where did they go? Well, um, oh my God. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I. Wow. What was that? It said, don't even try to contact us. What? Don't even try to locate us through the messages we're using burner phones. Okay, so is he dead or not? Oh, he can. Okay, stop stop working on that. Try to contact them really quick. This is what I was saying. Like, I thought I should have had an option to try and get him back if I pay money or something. If you want to see your loved one again, send us 5,000 simoleons and no one will get hurt. We will send you the location to Mia after you send us the money. Oh, y'all, what do I do? What do I do? Do I actually transfer it or or no? I'm worried that they're scamming me because it, I got notifications that he died. I'm going to transfer it. Great, here's where you can pick up your loved one. Oh, bring 25,000 with you and no one will get hurt? I don't have that. But he's actually dead. Why is Jace the one going? Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Kidnapped Sim Rescue? You have arrived at the location where Dutch Finley is held hostage. Pay the kidnappers the amount of simoleons they've asked for to take him home safely. I don't have it. I literally don't have it. Like he's, he's literally alive, but I don't have it. What do I do? What do I, what do I do? If I choose to just go home, do I go home without him? Already paid them five. Okay. Um. Chance of cure. What does that mean? Oh my God. Oh shoot. Oh! 
Where's the <laughs> Um So On second thought, we just going to bounce. I'm sorry, Dutch. Run me that money now? Nah. I don't even Yeah, no. I'm sorry. I can't risk Jay's dying. Especially because I don't have the money. If I had the money, that'd be... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Will they contact us again? I hope they contact us again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just... I gave them 5,000 simoleons and then I couldn't even... Ugh. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here because I have no idea what the heck to do. Like I literally have a no, oh my, Sarai, please. Okay. I have no idea what to do now because we paid the 5,000 simoleons, they sent us the location, but I didn't have the option of getting him without cheating and I didn't really wanna cheat. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do I do? Anybody who's actually played with the Life Tragedies mod and had someone kidnapped before, like, please let me know. Are they going to contact me again if I have the 25,000 so I can actually go and, like, get him? Or was that, like, the only time that they're going to contact me? I'm afraid that Dutch might just be, like, gone, guys. Because I, I, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Show your girl a little love. And until next time, I, I, where hopefully we save Dutch, who's supposedly dead but isn't a dead. I don't know what happened. Positive vibes and french fries. Bye, guys. <laughs>